We are riding a pretty nice streak of uh, nice and pleasant and warm summer weekends, and today was no different. We saw again highs in the mid to upper 80s as we take a look at our time lapse video from our weather camera now showing a little bit of haze in the sky and those cotton ball cumulus clouds dotting the horizon, and that will be the case over the next couple of hours as well. Live look outside our Ainsley heating and cooling weather camera now as we have a special guest trying to make an appearance on the lens there. A couple wasps flying around in that warm air. It is 86 in Niles at this hour. The high res visible satellite loop does show those features quite nicely. We see those uh, higher uh, cirrus clouds filtering in from the north and northeast and those cotton ball again. Those cumulus clouds are starting to fade away and we will see those fade away even more as we lose the daytime heating later on this evening. The setup on radar and satellite shows high pressure locked in right over top of us, but uh, much uh, more active weather to our south and southwest. This is Hurricane Hannah. This made uh, landfall a couple of hours ago as a 90 mile per hour strong category one, and it's uh, causing all kinds of problems for uh, South Texas and northern Mexico. This will continue to make tracks inland and spread lots of heavy rain over the next uh, couple of days before it dissipates again over Mexico. Back here at home, much calmer weather, and we've still got lots of mid 80s out there, 86 in Warren and Youngstown down at the uh, sensor there, 83 in Columbiana. And the good thing about the uh, warmth today is it's comfortable warmth. We've got dew points generally in the 60 degree range, so very tolerable air mass in place over top of us. Now, uh, taking you through the rest of the overnight tonight and this evening, I think this is a little bit overdone in terms of clouds. I do think we'll see some patchy clouds here and there overnight, but they will be of the high and thin variety. So those clear skies, mostly clear skies, will allow temperatures to fall into the low 60s. It'll be pleasantly mild seasonably mild. Now talking about our Sunday, I'm looking for more in the way of those fair weather uh, kind of cotton ball cumulus clouds because we will have temperatures a little bit warmer. But again, as much the case uh, as or as was the case today, once we lose the daytime heating, those clouds will once again fade away. We'll do a little bit better in the uh, temperature department tomorrow. 90 is the official forecast high and you'll feel the humidity a little bit more as well. That's out ahead of our next weather maker. This is a cold front that is on approach from the west and I think I think it's starting to slow down. The models are indicating that this front is going to be uh, kind of slugging along here. So we'll see that uh, risk of some scattered showers or storms late Monday afternoon, Monday night, and even into the wee hours of Tuesday morning. So we'll have that threat around our area for quite some time. A very low end severe weather risk for our Monday, a one out of five from the Storm Prediction Center. And again, the uh, main threat from these thunderstorms will be some strong gusty winds. We talked about a pattern change. We've been under the influence of a big ridge of high pressure, but look what happened happens in the middle and latter part of this coming week. That ridge gets pushed off to the west and we will be under a northwesterly flow. So that will signal uh, drier and slightly cooler air. So after a couple more 90 degree days, Sunday and Monday, how about these highs seasonably warm with lots of sunshine and a few clouds around with uh, the possibility of a leftover shower into our Tuesday. So Milena, if we can get past uh, the 90s this weekend, I think we're in for a very nice stretch our umbrellas ready for Monday, but a comfortable weekend ahead. Thank you so much, Chris.